I am so excited to be here today with you all to share the small business and self-employed group story. We're going to start by grounding ourselves in our mission and our top customer problems. We'll review our strong FY22 results, the drivers of our success, and our durable strategy to become the source of truth for small businesses. We'll then deep dive into the work that's fueling our strategy, like our big bets, MailChimp, and our refreshed international approach. And then I'll bring to life how our differentiated ecosystem solves the real world challenges small businesses face. And then we'll finish with our long term expectations. To begin, our mission, powering prosperity around the world, is more important now than ever as new headwinds replace pandemic challenges. The past three years really showed how resilient small businesses are. They are problem solvers, they pivot, they persevere and we stand by their side to help them solve the most challenging problems with confidence. And we know our customers' problems well. They remain durable, despite all the uncertainty in this rapidly changing world. Every small business needs to get more customers, needs to get paid, and stay compliant and organized. And helping small businesses overcome these problems is fundamental to their success and their survival. And this is why we show up to work every day. What we also know is that small businesses want a, want a single platform that can solve their connected problems end to end. And that's what we've created, a single platform to serve our customers' most pressing needs. We have innovated rapidly and expanded the breadth of our ecosystem significantly over the last few years. And now with the acquisition of MailChimp, we are truly solving small businesses' top problems end to end. By bringing customer and purchase data together, we're able to deliver unique customer be benefits and expand our addressable market to $188 billion. The breadth of our ecosystem and the scale of our data allow us to deliver these benefits to more segments of small businesses than ever before. We've moved down market to serve the self-employed, and we moved up market to disrupt the mid-market. And we've expanded from solely a do-it-yourself offering provider to the assisted market with QB Live. And our efforts to deliver more benefits to even more customers are paying off, as you can see in our FY22 results. We had a phenomenal year. We completed the MailChimp acquisition earlier in the year, and together we now have 7.1 million online paying customers expanding the scale of our platform. We had 38% total revenue growth, and organically we grew revenue 22%, driven by 24% QBO ecosystem ARPC growth. And this year our strength is really showing up across our ecosystem. Our payments volume is up 36%, and capital loan originations are up 3x compared to last year. I am very proud of the team and what they delivered in FY22. But when you zoom out, our FY22 performance is part of a decade-long transformational journey. Ten years ago, less than one-third of our customers were online, and we were largely a license-based business. Fast forward to today, 80% of our total revenue comes from subscription. And almost nine out of ten of our customers are online. When you put it all together, we now have a robust ecosystem built in the cloud, well positioned to continue solving customers' top problems, while making us more resilient in a downturn. This transformation of our business, plus the addition of MailChimp, is an opportunity for us to redefine customers and ARPC as we've added more vectors for growth. While we are refreshing our definitions to reflect a more accurate view of our business, the growth formula of online paying customers and ARPC expansion is durable. Let me unpack this and make it real for you with our FY22 results. With updated customer definition, we now have 7.1 million online paying customers. QBO subs grew 11% to 5.9 million, driven by 80% retention and 40% growth in QBO advanced subscribers. We added 800,000 paying MailChimp customers, of which more than half are in international markets. With an expanded customer base, we now have new monetization opportunities. We proved our ability to scale higher paying services with payroll and payments. And now with MailChimp's ARPC being more than double the current QBO ecosystem ARPC, 
And in combination with a large global TAM, it gives us lots of opportunity to increase share of wallet. In fact, online services now contributes nearly half of the total online paying ARPC of $692, which is up 37% year over year. Our strong customer and ARPC growth translates into record revenue growth. In FY22, we grew total revenue by 38% year over year to 6.5 billion, driven by the strength of our online ecosystem. Online accounting and services grew 33 and 34% respectively. We saw a four point improvement in ecosystem penetration globally. And we are seeing fantastic ecosystem results in established markets outside of the US with our services revenue up 65%. I'm very proud of the financial results our team drove as we execute on our customer back strategy. So now let's look forward. As has been true for the last several years and continued in FY22, our results are the reflection of our durable strategy to become the source of truth for businesses. And our three pillars of the strategy grow the core, connect the ecosystem, and expand globally. Now let me share a few examples of our product innovation that brings this strategy to life. First, in our core, Big Bet 2, connecting people to experts, enters us into a $28 billion category of assisted services. We are rapidly executing our vision of becoming the leading virtual expert platform, which solves the critical problem so many small businesses face, a lack of confidence. And is especially true when businesses seek financial and business expertise, and even more so in uncertain economic conditions. We are still early in unlocking this opportunity, but saw strong 55% customer growth this year. In Big Bet 5, we have made a ton of progress disrupting the small business mid-market, and there is so much more runway even within our existing base. To give you a sense of this opportunity, across our online and desktop e ecosystem, we have over 700,000 mid-market customers already using one of our QuickBooks SKUs. And now we are building both the product and go-to-market engines to ensure we have the right conversations, and offer our full ecosystem to fit their specific mid-market business needs. This may include QBO Advanced, an increased adoption of payroll, payments, time tracking, bill pay, MailChimp, and so forth. With all the innovation we're driving for mid-market customers, we're seeing strong adoption with 95% growth in customers with ARPC over $5,000. Shifting to connect the ecosystem and our Big Bet 4 being the center of small business growth, we have focused significant innovation on our money portfolio in the recent years. But we're just getting started. We see a future in which we put small businesses in complete control of their money by becoming the platform of choice for money movement and money management, providing easy receivables and payables, instant low friction money movement, effortless cash flow management, and broad access to capital. We're very excited about the potential in this space, especially in the areas that are ripe for disruption, like B2B payments. For example, more than 10 million non-QuickBooks businesses received invoices from QuickBooks customers in the last six months, enabling us to pull these prospects into our QB network easier than any other player. Continuing with Connect the Ecosystem, we are rapidly evolving our workforce solutions offerings. Our vision here is to power prosperity for employers and their teams by reimagining how they work and grow, eliminating the administrative burden of people management with a scalable, integrated suite of payroll, time tracking, HR information systems, benefits, workforce management, and hiring offerings. We are seeing good traction in small businesses adopting our expanded suite as the number of customers offering retirement, retirement benefits for their employees more than doubled this year. And last but certainly not least, when it comes to connecting our ecosystem and our Big Bet 4, let me deep dive into the addition of MailChimp to our portfolio. Prior to acquiring MailChimp, we were not solving the top customer problem of helping customers get customers. We chose MailChimp because it's the number one small business marketing platform with a large customer base diversified around the globe. Together, MailChimp's customer and QuickBooks purchase data 
enable us to deliver capabilities that help customers grow their business and manage cash flows all in one place as we become the source of truth for their business. This was our strategic thesis when we started exploring the acquisition, and after nine months of working together, we are even more confident in the value we can deliver together for our customers. To deliver that value, we declared three priorities when we acquired MailChimp, and these priorities remain durable, and we're already seeing good progress with them. First, we will become the end-to-end -end customer growth platform, bringing the best of QuickBooks and MailChimp together. Second, we will expand our premium MailChimp offerings and expand our go-to-market to deliver for the mid-market. And lastly, we will accelerate international growth with localized product and go-to-market motions. And given MailChimp's strength outside of the US and our priority to accelerate this trajectory, I'm excited to share that we've refreshed our international strategy. Having MailChimp in our portfolio allowed us to take a step back and holistically think about our international growth strategy to better deliver on our third strategic pillar of expanding globally. With MailChimp, we have a low compliance, universally scalable, and proven global product that solves customers' number one problem of getting customers. This gives us an offering in our, in our arsenal that we can lead with around the world. We are also seeing increased adoption in our QuickBooks ecosystem in established markets where we have achieved product market fit. While at the same time, we've seen less success profitably scaling other emerging markets with more unique compliance requirements. This is an opportunity for us to focus our investments. So going forward, we will lead with MailChimp around the globe. We will also bring our full QuickBooks ecosystem to our established markets of Canada, the UK and Australia, and are in the process of defining our future product presence in France. In all other markets, we will offer a lightly localized version of QBO on our global platform. I am very excited about this refreshed and focused strategy and the new assets we have to power prosperity around the world. So now let's come back to see how all of this innovation comes together for customers in a single end-to-end -end platform. We are building a connected ecosystem for small businesses to run and grow their business. And we have achieved significant scale across the problems we're solving. To highlight just a few, last year, we had over $2 trillion of invoices managed on QuickBooks. 17.6 million Americans depend on Intuit payroll to get their paychecks in FY22. And we have 165,000 QBO advanced customers growing at 40%. But here's what's most important. The magic is in the ecosystem and how it all works together to solve customers' problems. Point solutions on their own are insufficient for a small business to be successful. A marketing automation solution that can't show you the ROI of your spend, a bill pay solution that doesn't understand your cash flow, or a capital offering that doesn't know when you need to make payroll are all incomplete and force a small business to connect dots across multiple offerings. The power of our integrated ecosystem is in the seams between our solutions. The insights and the automation we can provide and the friction we can eliminate to help small businesses and mid-markets thrive. Let me illustrate this with three very real examples. We know that small business's number one problem is getting more customers. MailChimp alone can do incredible things to help small businesses grow, but once an email is sent or an ad is placed, it is hard to know how effective they are in driving sales. MailChimp customers who use QuickBooks will see their order data and their actual sales show up in their books. In the background, we can connect MailChimp campaigns and this order data to proactively inform our customers about how their campaigns performed. We also know if they can spend more to continue growing their business efficiently. With our cash flow planner, we can see if they have funds to invest in incremental marketing spend and make a recommendation for the optimal amount. And if they don't have the funds to grow, we can offer them a loan through QuickBooks Capital. And we can do it with confidence because we not only have predicted the ROI on their campaign, but we also know their business health and creditworthiness from seeing their business end to end in QuickBooks. 
Together, these offerings keep businesses growing efficiently while managing cash flow, which is absolutely essential for their success. But the stress of cash flow is a constant for small businesses, especially as they try to navigate the gulf between money in of getting paid via their invoices and money out of running payroll. As a small business owner, one of the most stressful elements of running a business is the weight you feel for the livelihood of your employees. And when cash flow is uneven, every payroll run can be a high stress event. That's why we bring together our money portfolio and workforce solutions to help businesses manage cash flow and take care of their employees. When a business uses QuickBooks to send pay enabled invoices, we know how much that business is owed and can predict when they will get paid based on prior invoices sent. When the cash flow planner that predicts 90 days into the future sees that we will be a there will be a cash flow shortfall to make payroll this week, we can suggest a get paid upfront loan to the small business, allowing them to finance the outstanding invoice prior to their customer paying it. The loan can be deposited right into their QB checking account where smart envelopes earmark it for their upcoming payroll run. When it's time to make payroll, it's automatically deducted from the smart envelope and paid to businesses' employees. And all of these problems get only more complicated as small businesses grow, which is why we're building our ecosystem to grow with them and reduce the complexity that comes with scaling. While a smaller business may have a dozen bills to pay each month, a mid-market business can have hundreds. These are often still handled with paper invoices and paper checks, taking hours to process and even more to correct the errors that are inevitably made with such manual processes. The QB business network and AP automation tools solve these problems for businesses. First, we have QuickBooks businesses already sending and receiving invoices between each other, and we are building the QB network to facilitate finding and vetting other QuickBooks businesses. Once in the QB network, a business only needs to provide payment information to QuickBooks once, never again exchanging bank or credit information with other businesses in the network, facilitating transactions and reducing the risk of errors. And soon, with our AP automation and bill pay services, we will help our customers not only manage their inflow of bills, but will also facilitate payments to in and out of network customers. As our customers reap the benefits of the business network and AP automation tools, they can invite other businesses to join and create a network effect. Next, as businesses grow and hire more employees, those employees' expectations and needs evolve. That's why we're building more comprehensive workforce solutions by facilitating benefits administration, such as healthcare and retirement, all in one place, as well as offering a workforce app for employees where they will be able to take advantage of services such as early pay to help manage their own cash flow needs. These are just a couple of ways that we're disrupting with a full suite of services in our journey up market. And we're just getting started. So to conclude, I am proud of what the team has built for our customers. In FY22, we had an incredibly strong year and I am confident in our trajectory going forward. Our strategy is durable, and grounded in our customers' needs, resulting in a differentiated end-to-end -end ecosystem. We have completely transformed our business with the vast majority of our customers in the cloud and on subscription. MailChimp opens up incredible opportunities for us, including the ability to expand our share of wallet across both QBO and MailChimp customer bases, as well as accelerate our international growth. And finally, we remain focused on customer and ARPC growth of 10 to 20 percent. And with that focus on customers and ARPC growth, we have updated our long range guidance to 15 to 20 percent total revenue growth. I am confident that we are poised to win as we remain focused on delighting our customers. Next up, I'd like to bring up Varun to talk about our consumer group strategy.